I've come to St. Nicholas's Church here in Dundalk, which is only two or three miles away from Fahart, County Loud, uh, on the feast day of St. Bridget. So St. Bridget was a saint, and the definition of a saint is someone who, I suppose, lived their life as close to the gospel in their time and place. Uh, four stories that are associated with St. Bridget that show that um, attempt to live close to gospel values are as follows. So the first story associated with St. Bridget is um, she was the daughter of a Celtic pagan lord and by all accounts she was a very attractive young lady. Now this Ke Celtic pagan lord took her to the King of Leinster to um, offer her hand in marriage or to arrange some type of union. Now the story goes that Bridget waited in his carriage or on his horse outside and her father, as her father spoke to the King of Leinster. Now St. Bridget noticed a leper, a poor person, a sick person walking past. And as we know, she had a great heart and love for poor and sick people. And she looked around and she saw her father's valuable sword. And she gave the sword to the leper. And um, when the father came out of the meeting, he was outraged at what Bridget had done. But she was, she was untroubled and she explained to her father that um, she gave the sword to the leper. Um, not so much that she was giving it to the leper, but she was giving it to God through the leper. So she was serving God. So she was living the gospel. So in the gospel, um, Jesus' um, visitations with sick people, poor people, those in the, the margins, um, Jesus had a great time. He approached the lepers. He touched them physically when others wouldn't touch them. And the second story of Bridget, one of the famous stories about Bridget is the story about her disfigurement. Um, and it's said that Bridget, um, being an attractive young lady, she didn't want to be pursued by young gentlemen. So some people say she, dis she cut her face some people say she plucked her eye out um, to discourage those who may have wanted her hand in marriage. St. Bridget was always completely devoted to God. Um, her looks didn't really matter to her because it was what was inside that was most important to her. Was she serving God? Um, was she offering worship to God? And she didn't want anything to detract or distract her from that. The third story that shows St. Bridget was living the gospel as a saint. Um, when she went to live with her mother, who was a milkmaid on a huge farm, a huge estate in Ireland. I mean, the animals, the cattle, the dairy cows became more and more productive. She gave away the milk to all those who came to visit the farm. Um, but the owner of the farm couldn't believe uh, why the production was still increasing. Um, because Bridget was so generous in giving away milk to the poor and giving away foodstuffs to the poor, but the farm never lost any money. So the animals became more productive and the farm became more productive, uh, even though Bridget was giving the produce away. So this is the law of the gift um, in the gospel. Uh, those who have everything, more will be given. Those who have nothing, everything will be taken away, the Matthew principle. So Bridget, um, could not outgive God. The more she gave away, the more she got. And the only thing that we truly own in life is what we give away. So Bridget was truly living the gospel in that sense. And finally, story number four. Um, the one best known, I suppose, by people in Ireland is St. Bridget's cloak. And St. Bridget's cloak um, was the story behind uh, how she acquired her land to create her first convent in Ireland. So she went to Kildare, to a lord in Kildare, and asked for some land to build her convent. And the lord said to her, you can have as much land as your coat, your cloak will cover. Throw it on the ground, and I'll give you that size of a piece of land. 
So St. Bridget took off her cloak, she threw it on the ground, but all of a sudden the cloak started to grow and it got bigger and bigger and bigger. So it covered a large enough portion of land that she was able to build her first convent in County Kildare. Um, and the convent was one for nuns and also monks side by side. So she was a great evangelist and the convents then spread all over Ireland um, with all the great sisters and nuns serving the poor, the uneducated and the sick. So St. Bridget truly was a saint. She lived out the gospel. She proved that whatever you have, if you offer it up to God, he will multiply it and create super abundance. Um, think of the story of the wedding feast at Cana. Um, think of the story of uh, the loaves and the fishes. Okay, anything we offer up to God, even if it is small, but we offer it up in good faith, he will create super abundance and bring blessings upon our life. So, on the 1st of February, the feats of St. Bridget, we pray to this great patroness of Ireland to bless us and bless our families. So, St. Bridget, or pro nobis.